Welcome to Rachel Scale Modeling. This is part three of Revel's Colombo Express container ship. Scale is 1 to 700. In part two, I began the build and uh, started working on the hull and placing that uh, together with the rudder and the screw and finish it up with the first coat of paint. So in part three, I'll be carrying on with the hull, finishing off the painting on the hull and possibly getting on to the actual deck work. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. The first job I have to do is mask off my uh, line for the black that's going to go on. So I'm um, just taking a, a bit of masking tape, and that's Tamiya's 6mm masking tape, and I'm running along from the, the wave breaker uh, right down to the stern of the ship, trying to keep a straight line as possible. There isn't any real markings on the hull uh, to do this, so I'm having to do it by eye. And once the tape's on, I'm going to vanish over it using Pledge Clear Polish. This just helps uh, stop any paint bleed. The other method of this is painting over the tape on your base colour, so it'll be on that um, ready sort of colour I've already got down. So before I go to paint the hull, I decided on a different black. So I've just got normal acry acrylic um, artist black here, but I'm also using this uh, Pell X iridescent powder. Now what this does, this changes the texture and the colour of the paint and, and gives it irid ir an iridescent look. Now I've tried this before and it hasn't quite worked. And uh, I've been reading up on it and they say that it's better using blues and blacks. So I thought I'd add it to my paint. So I'll just scoop it in and mix it up. Then I'm going to paint the stand with it first of all to see whether I like the actual colour. And once the powder's mixed in, I'm just simply painting the stand. Now I have to mix this in quite thoroughly uh, to make sure it's all blended in. The initial thing is when you put it down you really won't uh, tell the difference. It's not until it dries and the light bounces off it then you should see the slight difference in colours coming through. It should be, this is a blue one, so there should be a hint of blue coming through the black. So I think the colour will work. Um, so I'm taking a bit of risk here um, and just jumping right into the hull and painting the black onto the hull. And I'll see once it dries whether I'm happy with it. I can always paint over it if it doesn't look very good. But even at this stage I can just start seeing a little bit of tint of blue coming through the black. And I actually quite like uh, the colour. This is going to need a, a couple of coats. It's onto the deck now and I'm using my paint mix of Rebel of Colour 331 70% and Rebel of Colour 83 30% and this is the colour mix that's on the hull as well but the, the entire deck gets covered in this um, tone of paint also. Because the deck's the same colour this actually makes it quite an easy build so far. Um, it's uh, with this colour mix, I only need to really put down one coat. If you're not sure, by all means put down two. But uh, remember, it's a, it's a working vehicle, so expect wear and tear and things like that. Um, for me, they don't necessarily have to have the polished look. But that's just a personal choice. Some of the deck's furniture needs to be painted as well. So I'm using Revo Aquacolor 88 Ochre Brown here. And um, these are... Just the, the little bits and pieces, um, there's not much to be painted on the deck, but um, it's good to get that little bit of contrast. Next is Revel of Colour 91 Steel. Now this is for the anchor chains. Now they wanted them painted black, but I didn't like that idea, so I decided to paint them silver. I'm also using the same colour, the 91 Steel, on the side of the deck here. There's a little bar that has to be painted in this colour. First thing I'm touching to the deck is this little block here goes on the prow of the ship. Now this looks like some sort of quarters, whether it's um, living quarters, offices, I'm not sure. But it's a little building that sits right at the front. My next colour is Revo Aqua Colour 25 Luminous Orange. This is for the um, main lifeboat. This paint has been standing for quite a while so I, um, I do quite a bit of mixing to bring this paint back. Next is uh, back to the uh, paint mix, 
the 70% of 331 purple red and the 30% of 83 rust of aqua color. Now, there's a, a lot to be painted with this color now. This is um, all, all to do with the support beams that run over the deck. The, there's a couple of little bits also getting painted in the 91 steel. Uh, mostly they're, they're quite small and and you won't see them anyway, so I'm not going to go into great detail with them. Uh, it's mainly the deck furniture that I'm painting. And uh, as you can see there, the, this is the first beam, cross beam that I'm painting in the, with the paint mix. And while everything's drying, I'm just taking this opportunity to uh, place on the nameplate decal uh, onto the stand. The, the stand will go on f um, as soon as I can onto the ship. Uh, this just helps stabilise it while I'm building. There is a couple of different nameplates you can place on for this ship, but I'm going with the one that's on the box. And now the black paint's dry, it's time to remove the mask and tape. There was a tiny amount of paint blighted, um, only in one little spot. Um, I did manage to catch my brush on the uh, a couple of red parts of the hull. Um, but that was easily painted over. Next is the place to stand on and I'm just scraping off the contact points. And it's vital I do this because it's had a couple of coats of paint, it's had a coat of varnish, so there's no way the cement is going to eat through all that lot to bond the stand. So um, if you're doing this, make sure that the contact points are clear of paint. Luckily the contact points are small enough, it doesn't really... Um, amount to much scraping and prep work and uh, once it goes on the, um, it, it was uh, quite an easy uh, thing to line up I just lined it up one end then positioned the um, opposite end and once it was dry I can then place on the deck the deck was a, a beautiful fit um, a little bit tight um, on the width but you can simply just gently prise open the the, the hull a little bit and um, everything just clicks into place. Next is the prow uh, as your uh, placement. This part took a little bit uh, longer to fit. The fit was fine but uh, the nature of the shape and the support vanes that uh, go run from the edge of the hull it's an awkward shape so I had to make sure that was uh, connected so it took a, a little bit of holding to make sure that everything was set. And once the deck was on, it was time to give the side of the hull another coat of varnish. So once more, that's the pledge clear polish that I'm using. I'm now making up the lifeboat launcher. And this is just a, a framework that holds the lifeboat. So first of all, I'm taking one half and uh, placing the lifeboat uh, inside the, the metal work, the framework. So then add that to the um, deck of the ship. Now the instructions say make it all up before placing it on. Uh, I think that's a mistake. Uh, it's better to build it as you go along. That way it's easier to fit. And once the second piece goes on, it, you simply squeeze it together and everything holds. It's just that there's four location points for this uh, little um, launcher and it'd be difficult to get them all in in one go. So doing it like this uh, just makes it a lot easier. Next to go on are two little masts there at the prow of the ship and the tips of them are painted in 301 white silk. All the rest is the uh, main colour. So uh, it's just those two colours there. Obviously th these were painted um, on the sprue. Next I'm placing in the anchors, one for each side. And then to finish off the main deck build, uh, part of the build, is uh, putting in the support beams or dividing beams. Each one um, is similar but different, so I have to make sure I place them in order. And this will bring part three to a, an end. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified on not only this build, but of course all my other builds as well. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.